The third time, the angel spoke to Joseph in a dream. The angel told Joseph, Leave Egypt. Leave Egypt. Because it is now safe to return home. The question I throw to you is, what is God asking you to give up? What is God asking you to live behind? What is the Egypt of your life that you must live behind because you were not destined for Egypt? You were destined for the promised land. You were not designed for exile. You were designed to live as a free child of God in the promised land. What is God asking you to give up? Why is it important to give up? Because we are men and women who are prone to attachments. How do we evaluate whether something or somebody has become an attachment for us? First is addiction. When it feels like we cannot continue living without this person, without this thing, without this title, without this position, without this place, without this relationship. Addiction meaning to say we cannot go on with life without that person, without this thing, without this relationship. And addiction can also mean we find joy, we find a boost every time this person, this relationship, this community is around. Is it wrong to be happy? No, it is not wrong to be happy. But we must always remember our only source of happiness should be the Lord. And the only addiction is addiction to the Lord. The second word to remember is competition. To compete is to put on the same level. To compete is to outdo the other. When our attachment to this person or attachment to this position or attachment to this relationship is put on the same level as our commitment, then it becomes problematic. It also becomes enslaving. It lessens our freedom. Is it competitive? Is it addictive? And the third word is, is it exploitative? Meaning to say, this person, this thing, this relationship, this position is used no longer for the greater honor and glory of God. It is used for our own ego needs. It is used for our own personal needs, for our personal comforts. And the kingdom of God is no longer the criterion of our judgment. Is it addictive? Is it competitive? Is it exploitative? What is your Egypt in your life that the Lord wants you to live behind? What must you give up? Or who must you give up? Maybe a person, maybe a thing, maybe a position. Way back those days when we were under formation, our formators pounded on us that when it comes to assignment, he told me, do not ask, but do not refuse. Do not ask for an assignment, do not ask for a mission, but do not refuse. Whatever is given to you is the best mission for you. And if it is not given to you, that is not a good mission for you. Can we still return to it? Do not ask, but do not refuse. Do not ask for an assignment. Do not aspire for a position, but do not refuse. The grace of God will be enough for you. Do not be afraid to carry on. What are you willing to give up? For us who have been called by the church 
to live totally committed to the Lord. We need friends, yes. But what kind of friends? I'd like to present to you the levels of friendship and relationships for us called by the Lord in this life of chastity and life of celibacy. The first level is uh, the level of acquaintance. On the level of acquaintance, we can have many acquaintances, as much as 100, 500, and if you have a good memory, you'll be able to know their names, memorize their names. You know where they live, you know their first name, you can call them, and uh, everybody's an acquaintance. The second level is a level of friendship. They are not as many as acquaintances. The level of friendship means we share the same dreams. We cannot see eye to eye, but we can work hand in hand. Do not walk in front of me, I might not follow. Do not walk behind me, I might not lead. Just walk beside me and be my friend. They are a handful. The third level is the level of affection. The level of affection is that level when you feel for the person. When you know that this person brightens your day. It is perhaps the relationship between Francis and Claire. It is perhaps the relationship between saints among saints. Benedict and Scholastica. There was an affection there. And Pope Benedict says to us that God is also in that affection. But the fourth level is a level of intimacy. The level of intimacy may be one or two persons. The level of intimacy, we share dreams, we share our souls. I can say, maybe it could be the spiritual director who also asks you to be the spiritual director. It could be the confessor. We share souls, we share our dreams, we share our hurts, we share our beauties. So, acquaintance, friendship, and then affection, and then intimacy. I use the metaphor of a sandwich. So, the first level is acquaintance. You have a slice of bread. And then you put mayonnaise or lettuce. That is the level of friendship. And then you put ham or cheese or egg. That is a level of affection. And then you put another ham or cheese or slice of salami on it, that is the level of intimacy. If you are married, you can put another slice of bread and it is called a sandwich. But if you are not married and you're committed to the Lord, the level of intimacy is not covered by a piece of sandwich, by a piece of bread. Rather, it is left open. And gourmets will tell you, it is called an open sandwich. A sandwich does not always have another piece of bread on top of it. But sometimes we can make mistakes. And what happens, even if we are not supposed to do it, then we seal it with a slice of bread. Then we are sorry. And then what happens? You say, I should not have started it at all. So I should have only acquaintances and not friends and not affection, not intimacy. Then you live with a slice of bread. Is that healthy? No. The Lord says, man does not live on bread alone. He also needs ham and cheese and lettuce and eggs and everything else. The important thing to remember is if you are tempted to use your body for this spiritual intimacy, then turn to the Lord and say, Lord, cleanse my love, purify my love, so that I may love like you. You are not prohibited to love. You are not prohibited from being intimate or being affectionate with one another. The important thing to remember only is know who you are, 
Know who your beloved is and know who the Lord is in your life. We are back to the question, what is the Egypt that God is asking you to live? What is God asking you to leave behind, to give up? Or who is God asking you to give up? Whatever it is, believe me, whatever you give up or whoever you give up, you will find the Lord holding your hand, holding your hand and assuring you, you may give up, I will never give you up. I will never give you up. I will be with you. Do not be afraid. Leave Egypt now and return to the promised land because you are not made to be exiled. You are made to be a child of God in my image. What is God asking you to give up?